Okay, so today's video I'm going to do my eyebrow routine, how I fill in my eyebrows. Um, I've had so many different phases with my eyebrows. Actually, when I was getting married, I, filled, I used to fill them in with black pencil using an angle brush. Um, and I sort of was doing that recently, but then I felt like they were looking too heavy. And then, obviously, you guys know I went through a phase where I was bleaching my eyebrows and going really, really light and really, really, really thick. And now I'm sort of just going more with my natural colour, which is dark brown. I think my eyebrows are dark brown. I don't, I don't know, because with no filling, with no eyebrow filling, they're sort of... The hairs themselves look black, but because there's, it doesn't seem to... They're not, like, so thick. So it looks maybe like they're lighter. That's why the black doesn't really help with me. So anyway, now I'm going for a dark brown. Sometimes I go for a medium brown. Um, but now I'm going for a more natural, whatever my colour... Close, the closest to my colour as possible and the closest to my shape as possible as well and this is what these look like and I do feel right now that that's the best look for me anyway what you're going to need for this or what I use for this is I use my beauty blender which is an absolute mess don't worry I have a new one I'm just using the old one for now and then I've got my preferred eyebrow kit whichever one you use I'm using the Collection 2000 eyebrow kit and it was something like four, four pound and it's really really good and I'm going to be using the dark brown colour on the end. Sometimes I'll use the medium brown. I'll never use this colour, but sometimes I'll use this one. But for this video, I'm using this one. And then you're going to need your angled brush. Mine is the MAC 208. I think it's the only angled brush they have because it's the only one they brought out to me when I asked them for an angled brush. And it's really good. And then you're going to need a little uh, concealer brush. This isn't a concealer brush. It's an eyeshadow one, but... I use this, you're going to need a little brush, and then you're going to need a concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind one, it's Maybelline, I did accidentally call it Garnier before, but it's Maybelline, and then I have this soft ochre paint pot for usage as well, and then I have my sleek makeup palette, which is in Eau Naturel, and I'm just going to be using this colour, oh, oh, mirror, hello, I love doing these things. Look at me there, and then, hello! Anyway, I'm just going to be using the light colour on the end. And basically, that is optional. It depends if you want to go for a full look, or if you want to go for, your, for... It depends what you're doing with the rest of the face, really, but I thought I'd just show you the whole thing. for, And then you can just take away, or add more, whatever. And then you're going to need a little pot of water as well. Okay? So, let's jump straight into it, shall we? Okay, so here are my brows, with no with nothing on them, basically. I've plucked them and trimmed them as I would normally, and they're a little bit patchy because, <coughs> sorry, just woke up. They're a bit patchy because I literally um, am trying to grow them out, and because of all the phases that I went through with dyeing them, etc. Anyway, I just sort of brush them up a little bit, and then what I do, get my Maybelline um, concealer. I called it Garnier before, but it's Maybelline. I just dab a little bit on here because I do like to conceal them very, very slightly just because I feel like that's just what I should do I don't know why, anyway, and then I'm just going to get my really, really old beauty blender and uh, just pat it in so then my eyebrows prepped and ready to go, okay get my eyebrow kit and like I showed you, it's the Collection 2001 right now and I'm just going to go for the darker colour which is right on the end. Sometimes I go for the mid colour, so this just varies depending on how I feel, but I'm going to go for the darker colour. Okay, so I have my water, I'm going to dip my brush very lightly in there, and then just get the back of my hand and sort of wipe it off like this. And that just makes the point of the brush more, more precise, so it's better. So anyway, I'm going to do that bit again. Okay, do not get your eyebrows done, girl. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead over here. And all I'm doing is just brushing, brushing the excess on the brush out. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm getting the part that I already put in here and sort of stroking it towards the front of my brow so I can give that a bit of lighter colour because I feel like when I put it directly on the front. It looks like I've got tattooed eyebrows, which is awful. Anyway, now I'm going to go for the top part, which I'm going to start again, same point. Okay, 
and I'm going to brush it forward to the front. You see that? You see that? You see what I'm doing there? Go for the edge. I always go through this phase where I just make up a song and it just gets stuck in my head for ages. Anyway, now what, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm just, that line you can see, a really obvious line, I'm just straightening it down, blending it into my hairs, like so. But all the while, by the way, I'm dipping into my water and then brushing off, so you do that whenever you feel it's necessary. Thank you. Okay, I feel like this one's done, and I've got a little bit of problem with the squareness here, so I'm literally just going to wipe off. And then rebrush. <laughs> in the mirror it looks perfect, but in the camera it looks bloody awful. Okay, I'm going to leave that one for now. I'm going to go and do this side. Okie dokie, let's go for it. So it's really weird doing this in this room and with this mirror in my hand because I normally don't do that. So I normally sit on the floor in front of the mirror and do my makeup but I can't do that when I'm filming because then you guys would see everything. So there's always one eyebrow that people do that they find easier than the other one and I think this one is is the easiest one for me. Don't worry about that guys, we can clean that, that little bit up in a minute. I'm just going to brush that through to the front. See that? Can you see what I'm doing? Is it being done? Being done with colour at the end there, towards the middle. Then I'm going to get the brush, the gel that came with the Collection 2000 pack, and I'm going to just brush the hairs of my eyebrow just to keep it in place and keep the powder in place during the day as well. I really, really don't think, guys, it makes any difference whether you get an eyebrow kit or if you just pick your brown eyeshadows. I think it's all the same thing. And obviously it's just marketing, isn't it? So I think eyeshadows work fine. Okay, so brush the brows, guys. My soft ochre matte paint pot. And I'm going to clean up the edge. This is optional, like I said. I mean, if you're, gonna, if you're going out somewhere, if you're going like, to a wedding and you're doing a full face, it's nice to do this. But if you're just like me now, you don't really need to do this, but I'll just do it anyway, just for the sake of the video. So I'm just going to clean up the end here. And I've done it very, very lightly. As you can see, it just cleaned up the front over here. Sorry, my mirror's in the way. Anyway guys, what do you think my next video should be? I think it should be a room tour. Because I want to tell you guys about all the good deals I got in Ikea. Okay, I'm going to clear up that bit that we had a problem with earlier. That's the cleaning process done. Now what I'm going to do, again this is optional, I'm going to get my sleek makeup palette which is just their, their natural one I think. I'm going to go for the light colour. I'm gonna go grab the light. Oh, hello, Dina and the camera. Hello. I'm gonna grab the light colour on the end. And normally I would use a brush, but I don't have it with me, so I just got my little finger just on the brow bone. And disperse that through, guys. Disperse it through. Very, very lightly. And same on the other one. Now, depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I'll put the highlight 
on the arch of my brow as well, but I'm not doing anything special today, I'm just going to Cardiff, so I don't need to do that. So that's it, that's my eyebrow routine done, I hope that helps. These are my brows with the rest of my face. Curl your eyelashes guys, this is a good tip when you curl your eyelashes, just bend them like that with your fingers. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video, which is probably going to be either my room tour for my wardrobe room, which is over there, or it will be a, possibly a makeup tutorial for the last picture I put up on Instagram. I don't know, it'll be either one of them, or maybe a shopping haul. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace!